Hi guys, so for this video I'll be using this yarn. I actually bought it on eBay. I bought like three bags and they have, I think I have like around 12 or 15 balls of yarn in one package. It's a German yarn and recommended knitting needles or crochet hook are in size 3 to 4 millimeters. I think two balls of this yarn should be enough. And it's 100% acrylic. One ball has around 50 gram equals to 133 meters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and then I'll chain 16 So now that I've chained 16, on the second chain from the hook I'll make one half double crochet In the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. In the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. In the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one half double crochet in each chain throughout row one. So for row 1, I have 15 half double crochet, 1 half double crochet in each chain. Now for row 2, I'll turn my work around, I'll chain 1, then right there, through the second chain from the hook, working only in the back loop, I'll make 1 half double crochet. In the next chain, I'll make 1 back loop half double crochet. In the next chain, working only in the back loop, I'll make one half double crochet. In the next chain, working only in the back loop, I'll make one half double crochet. In the next chain, working only in the back loop, I'll make one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one back loop half double crochet in each chain throughout row two. By the end of this row as well, we should have 15 back loop half double crochets. completes the second row. Now for the third row we repeat row 2 so I'll turn my work around and I'll chain 1 and on the second chain from the hook working only in this back loop I'll make one half double crochet in the next chain I'll make one back loop half double crochet in the next chain I'll make one back loop half double crochet in the next chain, one back loop half double crochet. So I'll continue making one back loop half double crochet throughout row three. So we repeat row 2 until our work measures around 16 inches or just to be sure you can wrap this around your head and if it fits then it will be time to finish up. But in my case I repeated row 2 until my work measured 16 inches. Now we'll join these two sides together and now with the yarn needle I'll join these two sides together.
I'll turn my headband inside out like this and I will work on this side of the headband so right here through this uh, first half double crochet to make sure you insert your hook through two strings of yarn not just one and then I will chain three and right there through that same chain I'll make two double crochet I'll chain two and through the same chain I'll make three double crochet now I'll skip one double crochet chain and through the second double crochet chain I'll make three double crochet I'll chain two and through the same chain I'll make three double crochet and now again I'll skip one chain and through the second chain I'll make three double crochets I'll chain two and through the same chain I'll make three double crochet so we repeat this throughout row one make sure to skip one chain in between these shells because otherwise we have too many shells so yeah we repeat this throughout row one so now to finish off row one right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch now in these next two chains I'll make a slip stitch now through this two chain space I'll make a slip stitch so now for row two I'll chain three then right here through the two chain space I'll make two double crochet I'll chain two then through the same two chain space I'll make three double crochet through the next two chain space I'll make three double crochet I'll chain two then through that same two chain space I'll make three double crochet through the next two chain space I'll make three double crochet I'll chain two then through the same two chain space I'll make three double crochet through the next two chain space I'll make three double crochet and I'll chain two then through the same two chain space I'll make three double crochet so we repeat this throughout row two so now to finish off row two right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch now for row three we'll repeat row two so through these next two chains I'll make a slip stitch
Then right here through this two chain space, I'll make a slip stitch. Then I'll chain three. I'll make two double crochets in this two chain space. I'll chain two. Then through that same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Through this next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain two. Then through that same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain two. Then through the same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. We'll repeat row 2 until our work measures our desired length. So we we'll repeat row 2 until our work measures around 9 inches. And now we'll start to decrease. So right here through this 2 chain space, I'll chain 3. Then I'll make 2 double crochets through that same 2 chain space. I'll chain two, then through the same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain two. Then through that same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain two. Then through that same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. So now that we have three shells, we'll start to decrease. So right here through this next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain two. Then through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. So that's our first decrease. Now, through this next three two chain spaces, I'll make three shells, one shell in each of these two chain spaces. That's our first shell. Now we make our second shell. So now we need to make one more shell.
So now again, we have three shells, and now we make another decrease. So through his next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain two. Then through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. So in this first three two chain spaces, I made one shell in each of these two chain spaces. Then through this fourth two chain space, I made three double crochets. I chained two and through the next two chain space, I made another three double crochets. So that was the first decrease. Then through the next three two chain spaces, I made three shells, one shell in each of these spaces. Then through the next chain, I made three double crochets. I chained two, then through the next chain, I made three double crochets. So that was our second decrease. So we repeat this throughout this row. So now to finish off this row, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So now for the next row, through these next two chains, I'll make a slip stitch. Then through this two chain space, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain three. Then through the same two chain space, I'll make two double crochet. I'll chain two. Then through the same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. So now we have made, so now in the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Then through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. And now through this next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain two, then through that same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Chain two. Then through the same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Chain two, then through the same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. So now that we are decreasing, it's gonna be a bit trickier. So you really have to pay attention. So here at the beginning of this row, through this two chain space, I made a shell. Through the next two chain space, I made three double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I made three double crochet. Then through the next two chain space, I made a shell. Then through the next two chain space, I made a shell. Through the next two chain space, I made three double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I made three double crochet. And through the next two chain space, I made a shell. So we repeat this throughout this row. So now to finish off this row, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. 
Now for the next row through these two chains, I'll make a slip stitch. Then through this two chain space, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain three. Then through the same two chain space, I'll make two double crochet. I'll chain two. Then through the same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain two. Then through the same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Again now, through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Chain two, then through the same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Chain two, then through the same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. And now again, through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Chain two, then through the same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Chain two, then through the same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. So for this row, we'll make a shell in every two chain space. So yeah, we repeat this throughout this row. So now to finish off this row, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So now for the next row, in the next two chains, I'll make a slip stitch. Then right here through this two chain space, I'll make a slip stitch. Now in these next three two chain spaces, I'll make a shell. So now that I've made three shells, in the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. In the next three chain space, I'll make three double crochet.
And now the next three two chain spaces, I make one shell in each two chain space. Next to chain space, I'll make three double crochet. In the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. So here at the beginning of this row, in the first three two chain spaces, I made a shell. In the next two chain space I made three double crochet and in the next two chain space I made three double crochet. In the next three two chain spaces I made one shell, one shell in each of these three two chain spaces and through these next two two chain spaces I made three double crochets in each of these two chain spaces. So we repeat this throughout this row. Now to finish off this row right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch this completes this row. Now for the next row, in the next two chains, I'll make one slip stitch. Then through this two chain space, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain three. Then I'll make two double crochets right here through this same two chain space. I'll chain two. Then to the same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. And this is our first shell. And now for the next two two chain spaces, I'll make one shell in each space. skip this first three double crochet chains and right here through this loop I'll make another shell. So we repeat this throughout this row. So here, at the beginning of this row, in this first three two chain spaces, I made one shell in each of these two chain spaces. Then I skipped this first three double crochet set, and then right there through that loop, I made another shell. So we repeat this throughout this row. Now to finish off, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. And for the next row, in these next two chains, I'll make a slip stitch. Then through these two chain space, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain three. Then I'll make two double crochets through the same two chain space. I'll chain two. Then right there through that same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. And 
and that's our first shell then right here through this next two chain space I'll make a shell And through this next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. So we repeat this throughout this row. Through this first two chain spaces, I made one shell in each of these two chain spaces. Through the next two chain space, I made the three double crochet, and through the next two chain space, I made three double crochet. So we repeat this throughout this row. Now to finish off this row, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Through the next two chains, I'll make a slip stitch in each of these chains. Through this next two chain space, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain three. Then through the same two chain space, I'll make two double crochet. I'll chain two. Then through the same two chain space, I'll make three double crochet. And that's our first shell. Now through this next two chain space, I'll make a shell. Now skip this next three chain space and right here through this loop. I'll make a shell. So we repeat this throughout this row. Now to finish off this row, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. In the next two chains, I'll make a slip stitch. Through this two chain space, I'll make a slip stitch. Now we have eight shells left. So now I'll chain one, then right there to that same two chain space, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next two chain space, I'll make one half double crochet. And right there through that first half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one. I'll, me I'll leave a, a medium-sized tail. Then I'll cut this yarn. Then with the yarn needle, I'll finish off this hat.